Hi, I'm Glenn, developer at Orbiting Disco, and this is the second Dust Fleet Dev Diary. Okay, so what's been happening this month? Um, testing. Uh, so I got the opportunity to try out Dustly with a few testers, and the feedback has been really useful. Most importantly, they liked it, which is great news. I haven't shown Dustly to many people, so it's really great to hear that people I've never met have played it and enjoyed it. Also, there's no substitute for getting a game in the hands of other real life, actual human beings, because they will always find new bugs. And these testers really brought their A game in that respect. So I spent about two weeks tracing these issues back, going down some pretty obscure paths to find these bugs. So if any of the Dustfleet testers are watching, I just want to say a big thank you. Your time has been invaluable to Dustfleet's development. Thank you so much. After that, I tackled another area of feedback, situational awareness. Now you might think you're having a nice day in space, hanging out with your fleet, no bad guys around, but how can you be sure? Enter the tactical overview. Now players can get a quick and easy zoomed out view of the battle space. You can give all the same orders and move the camera in exactly the same way as when you're zoomed in. So there's no extra learning curve. So I'm really pleased to have that in the game now. The process of building ships for Dust Fleet has evolved a little over time. Texturing was always a big weak spot for me. I could never get good results from unwrapping a model and painting on it in Photoshop. It took too long, mistakes were hard to fix, and I could never get good results. I'm just not that good at 2D art. To get around it, I found a way to avoid doing any texturing. I basically made very detailed models that I could then use to bake those details onto the game model. That's a fairly normal process, but I would just put extra detail into that model, which I could then substitute for actually doing any texturing. That's quite time consuming, but it worked for me because I could model much better than I could texture. In the past few years, texturing tools have improved massively. Tools like Substance Painter have complex layering and procedural tools that let you add very fine detail in a fraction of the time it would take me to model it. Now my process is a hybrid of my old and new methods. I still hand model some details, but only for very specific shapes that would be hard to paint in Substance. I've made a time lapse of me building a freighter and going through all these steps. The link is below in the description if you want to watch that. So, let's take a look at the new ships. First, here's the freighter you can see me building in the other video. Sturdy, but slow, massive and unarmed, these ships are used by the ZMC to carry shipments of refined materials to Earth. They're often a target for raiders, so require escort when going through hostile territory. Next, we've got a raider ship. Raiders usually end up buying or stealing old ships and converting them. This is the Raider Viper class design. They start with an old commercial tug. You can see the towing apparatus still left on the back. So they get these tugs and then replace their reactors with something more powerful that can drive the engines harder and power the weapon might they add to the top. These ships are a moderate threat in numbers, but they shouldn't give you too much trouble if you're careful. Finally, we've got the Raider Station. These stations don't pose much of a threat on their own, but are a staging ground for raiders. They build and refit their ships at stations like these, so having them around only helps the raiders spread. These are built with standard habitation modules, coupled with whatever surplus reactors they can get their hands on. Thanks for watching. If you like the look of the game, you can add it to your Steam wishlist. There's a link below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, you can like and subscribe to the channel so you get notified for more. That's all for this update. See you next time. After that, I tackled another. Um, let's stop. Let's stop.